The following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. Thank you for joining with us on Business Best Tonight. This is a platform where we showcase the best in the business and we will be introducing to you people who have excelled in their particular field in order to showcase their latest developments in their respective industry. So during this pandemic, were you all upset about not having to give your vehicle or car a spa day at home? Well, today on the show, we have a business that would basically take that problem off your list. So believe it or not, they are doing it without the use of water with the eco-friendly initiative. It's my pleasure to invite the f uh, operations director and the founder of IKEA Wash, Nirmal. Nirmal, thank you very much for joining with us on Business Best tonight. Yeah, firstly, I want to thank you, Shanali, for giving the opportunity. Tishan, before going into the interesting question of how you do your car washing without the use of water, why don't you tell our audience a bit about your business? Yeah, so iCare Wash was founded by four individuals in the mid of 2020. Uh, we actually, we, has, we are offering to start a, a mobile car wash. However, we thought that this was not the right timing and the market reception to start a business like this. Therefore, again, we thought that this was the right time because of the, when the COVID crisis came in, it, the COVID actually drove a lot of businesses uh, like technology and you know, the doorstep delivery service industry. It boomed so because uh, the customers wanted to have minimum contact and or eliminate the contact rather. So we thought that this was the best time to start a doorstep service. And uh, we did our market research like any other company would do. And then we found out about the waterless wash. Before that, we wanted to start a water wash, actually. And then we were concerned about the water being used. Uh, so we wanted a hybrid solution for this. Then we found out about the waterless wash. And uh, our business model is, uh, our business is modeled with two cornerstones. One is the to eliminate the water usage when washing a car. And two is the convenience to the customer because we basically deliver the car wash to the customer in any preferred location. Uh, as my second question, what are the services exactly that you provide when you go from door to door? We actually provide uh, almost all the services that a car wash, a traditional car wash would, would uh, provide. Namely the exterior cleaning, the interior cleaning, the, the vacuuming part, you know, the whole car cleaning, the panel cleaning and all that. In addition to that, we also offer a package called a car spa that necessarily you will need to travel to a, a car detailing center to get this particular package. So we basically uh, detail the full car interior and exterior from bumper to bumper. And also we have a package called a sanitization. So sanitization is now at this time is very important. So we sanitize the uh, car interiors as well. And also the second segment is the retail element. We also have a DIY product that we put out in the market where the customer can purchase this product and use the spray bottle and just wipe. Uh, I'll get, it, get, the, get into details with in the uh, sorry, I'll, ge I'll get into details uh, in later, the inter later part of the interview. So um, the customer can get a spray bottle with wipe and a spray and then you can just uh, do a car wash without the use of, you know, no need a bucket or uh, water or pipes or don't leave a muddy mess. Definitely. So this was one of the first products that you brought into Sri Lanka, I believe. And definitely when you started this business, you must have faced a few challenges. Could you tell us uh, what was the downfall of that? Of course. So uh, when you're starting a new venture, if anybody would say that they did not face any challenge, that's definitely a lie. Right. So we had a fair share of challenges. Uh, the first one being the travel restriction, because I myself had to travel to India to the Vista Car Care headquarters in Bangalore to get the first hand training from the supplier. So the travel restriction paid was a killer because I couldn't travel back and forth to Sri Lanka. And the second one was the import ban in Sri Lanka because the country was going through a financial crisis and the foreign, foreign exchange crisis. So they banned some imports so we couldn't particularly get the products to Sri Lanka. And that delayed our operations from starting for, from few months. 
and also that led to that had an opportunity. The travel restrictions had an opportunity for us because when the when there were travel restrictions impo imposed, the customer couldn't actually have access to a traditional car wash. So that opened opportunity for us, for a customer to try our product and our service at their doorstep. Uh, was it difficult for you to find staff at the first? Uh, yes, it was kind of difficult because nobody knew about the waterless car wash exactly. actually. So we were, the we are the first, we were the first people to bring the waterless car wash service to Sri Lanka. So I had to personally train them and I couldn't take them to India or anything because of the travel restrictions and all that. So I had to personally train them. And it was questioning because nobody knew the service. So, yeah, so the training went well and we have a good staff now. Now coming into the interesting question, how does this waterless car wash uh, work exactly? Yeah, to tell you about that, I'll tell you a little history about the waterless car wash. So, um, like I told you in the outset of our conversation, like we did a market research, right? And then we found out that this waterless car wash solution was popular among a lot of countries like the US, Australia in the summer times uh, and the Middle Eastern countries and also India. In some states there's scarcity of water and the Middle Eastern countries, the some governing bodies in the Middle Eastern countries put a ban on water usage when there's a shortage of water. So this and this waterless wash has been there for over a decade, right? So getting back to how this actually works is we take the dry clean the, the formula, spray it on the car body and then this will mix with the dust and emulsify it from the car bodywork. This will leave a product layer between the car and the dust. And we use the highest GSM mi of microfiber to wipe this across, either horizontally or vertically. And this will attract all the dust into the microns of the microfiber. And that will leave behind a very thin layer of wax where we take another microfiber and we buff the surface to reveal a beautiful shine and an extra glossy finish to your vehicle that has a, a rep water repellent and a dust repellent to the vehicle as well. Would you say that this using this product is better than using water on a car? Uh, better as using in water. The advantages of this this particular car wash is it. L we have testimonies of customers. This leaves behind an extremely glossy finish on the car, right? Better uh, is because we don't use a single drop of water. We can do the vehicle anywhere you want us to do the vehicle because then they will not leave a deep drop of water or a muddy mess, and we are in and out just like that. So Tishan, what made you come up with this idea in the uh, first place? What exposed you to it? Uh, as I told you, so we wanted to start this water, uh, a, a car washing, a mobile car wash business, right? And we believe that in our minds, we had to have a, a broader impact to society of whatever business we started. So we wanted to have a broader impact and a value to the end user, the customer. And we thought of this waterless car wash and then um, so these two are two, two main goals the impact the broader impact and the value to the customer right so the impact uh, I can tell you is we save a lot of water even if you travel to the most efficient and the top of the class car washes in Sri Lanka right now they use about 25 to 30 liters of water give or take right and some car washers in Sri Lanka recycle their own water but there's still a water water wastage and the worst thing, Shanali, is that when you wash a vehicle at home, studies have found that you waste about, so you use about 80 liters to 120 liters of water using washing your vehicle at home. So there we are, we eliminate the water usage and we save the environment. That's the impact we give to the society and the value. I don't know if your personal experience going to a car wash, it's not only the time that you spend at a car wash, it's the time that you travel back and forth, right? And so we give back the customers their time, right? You go to a car wash in your downtime, in your free time. So that's, that's valuable time you can spend with your loved ones and family. So we basically give back your time. Thanks, Tishan. Thank you for that valuable insight about your company. So let's go into a short commercial break. We are in discussion with Tishan Nirmal, who is the founder, founder and the director of iCare Wash. We'll be back soon. Welcome back to Business Best and we are in discussion with Tishan who is the Operations Director of the iCare Watch. 
Uh, Tishan, so you definitely told us some of the advantages of using this waterless yes. car wash. So are there any limitations that's stopping you from doing some of the services without uh, using water? Well, uh, the nature of our business is a waterless service, right? So the only place we cannot reach in a car is the undercarriage of the car. But that is not a showstopper for us because the undercarriage is not washed regularly in a car. So that requires physically lifting the vehicle to a certain amount to wash the undercarriage. So um, that the washing the undercarriage, we do not recommend customer washing the undercarriage every time because that can lead to rusting. Plus, some of the car washers apply uh, uh, some kind of oil. And if you wash the undercarriage every time you wash the vehicle, that beats the purpose of the oil being applied to the car. So that was not a showstopper for us. So we uh, just do the normal interior exterior wash. Again, when you started this business initially, what was the response you received from customers? Did they like the product? Were there any drawbacks or were they uneasy of using this product at first? Because definitely it's a new product used on their car. So were they worried about their paints fading away or leaving scratches on their car? What was their response? Uh, so anything that is new is questioning. Yes, right? definitely. And as I told you, this was a popular popular car wash solution among the among other countries, right? And this car wash solution has been tested in environments in other countries where this country, the people in other countries where they will sue the company for the slightest mistake done to their vehicle or the paint, the slightest damage to their paint. So these products have been tested among those countries. And also I can assure, assure the customers that all the products we use right now from Vista are pH balanced. So you can basically apply it on your skin and nothing would happen because it's a pH balance formula. And any vehicle that is nano coated or done a PPF coating or any other coating, some sort of coating to protect their vehicle, there's, nothing, there's no uh, effect on the, on the coating because it's all pH balance. And when you get to the interior, some of the cars have very expensive interior, like a 7 Series has a very expensive leather. And all our products are pH balanced again, so there's no harm done to any of the any of the uh, car interiors that we use. Okay, Tishan, so moving on to your future, do you have any idea of expanding? Because I believe that you don't have a stationed place or an office at the moment. So do you plan on expanding into a service station in the future? Uh, of course, we do have plans of expansion. So our service relies on a doorstep service. So we mainly focus on the doorstep service. So expansion-wise, we will increase our fleet when you, in terms of expansion wise, in terms of location, we are currently operating in Colombo district and Gampa district. So we have plans to expand this to the southern part, the central part and the northern part of the country. And also we have a plan of opening up a retail store where the customers can just walk in and buy any of, your, of our products, the DIY, the DIY products or the, the sanitizer we use. And uh, also in the latter part of this year, we have a plan of you know, getting a range of products from Vista and you know, being, making it available for the customers for any of their car care needs. Would you say that the customers will also need a particular amount of training in order to use these products since it's relatively new into the market? Uh, training per se, no. It's just a three-step process. It's a spray, wipe and a buff. So it is, yes, that you just spray the liquid, wipe it off and buff the surface and then you're good to go. Um, how is the business coping up during this pandemic at the moment? Well, we started operations in the pandemic and the pandemic has been a catalyst for our business, opening the opportunities for us to, you know, uh, provide our service to the customers because the car washes, they did not have access to the traditional car wash. And we had challenges, like any other business, the travel restrictions of our agents being traveling from location to location. And also we provide an essential service, that's the car sanitization. That's a very much needed service nowadays. And we sanitize the vehicles with a special sanitizer we have that doesn't use any alcohol. We have a pH balance sanitizer that has silver particles infused in the, in the liquid where we sanitize the vehicles. And we are the only people having the sanitizer in Sri Lanka right now. Great. When comparing the sales, uh, how is it uh, when you initially started the business and how are the sales now? Are people getting comfortable to it? Well, it's picking up actually. And the customers, we uh, had a big customer retention because we, when we provide the service, when the customers noticed that our service was good, they you know, call us back. 
So we have a big customer retention now because uh, mo firstly, everyone would want to try a new service, right? And then uh, that's how we got the customer retention. Could you tell us a little bit about your training as well? I believe that you had your training in India. Right. Uh, what was your exposure to it? How did you uh, get into it? So uh, when I had to travel to India for this, always I was thinking in my mind, you know, waterless wash. Because no one else was doing it in Sri Lanka, the service. So we had to get the training from the technicians in India. And I had to travel that. So we, uh, the exposure there, because they were very well trained and they were very confident with the product. Cause that product has been in the market for quite a while. And they passed me that confidence to use this product. And then in the training, then I got so used to the product. And we, I was thinking in my head, you know, why, is uh, why are people even washing their vehicle with water? Uh, you also said that you're selling your products. Uh, how do you sell it at the moment? Is it via online or? Yeah, we do have a, a, a online uh, website where we where the customers can purchase the website of uh, the products, and um, we also sell it through our agents. So a customer, if they like the service, they can also pu purchase the product from the relevant agent. At the moment, do you have a problem of importing these products into our Sri Lankan market? Uh, no, we hadn't had a problem, but now the 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 some of the HSN codes, the ban on the HSN codes were lifted. So that's why we were able to get the products. So as of now, no, we don't have any problem. How can the customers reach you at the moment? How can they make an appointment? Do they have to make it uh, via phone call or is it through your website? Uh, we, you can make a, we have a booking portal on our website. And then we uh, also, the customer can make a booking on Facebook or on uh, WhatsApp. You can call our number, 0377-914-784 and uh, make a booking. Great. And what's your final vision and mission of your company? The final vision of IKEA Wash is to eliminate a Sri Lankan car owner from having to travel to a traditional car wash just to wash their vehicle. And uh, uh, encourage, it was encouraging when there were some other players that has duplicated our business model. And there is a potential of this industry growing and competition is always healthy. You also mentioned that you are the operations director of the company. Uh, how did you find this business? What was the story behind it? Did you have any help from your colleagues or your family? Uh, actually, we wanted to do a change, a different, right? And as I told you, you have an impact on the society. So whatever business we started, it was not particularly a car wash. Any business we started, we wanted to have an impact. And then car wash was in our mind. And then we found out the waterless car wash by doing the research. And then obviously my family backed me up a lot, right? And even my, the team behind this, the four, four uh, founders of the company, they were the backbone of this IKEA wash, yes. How is the staff at the moment? Do you have a strong team? We do have a very strong team because when we train the people, it took a quite a while because it takes around four months to train an individual, right? So they also find it very easy to wash a vehicle than, you know, you having to pull out water and, you know, make a mess and soap and, you know, all that, right? So it's a very professional service that we do. So guy comes in uniform, he just takes his spray wipe, he's done. Was it easier for you during this pandemic in order to get a pass to do your business? Uh, no, because we, we provide a sanitization service, as I told you, and it's an essential service right now. So we sanitize vehicles, and that is keeping the customers and whoever was taking the service safe. So it was not, not, not easy, not hard for us to um, get, get a pass for this. Uh, and considering all your products that you use in your business at the moment, are they all imported? Yes, they are all imported, yes, from Vista Autocare. And what would you see is the competitive edge that you have with the other companies at the moment? Because I'm pretty sure that there are other firms that uh, use this product as well. So yeah, no, we retail only two pro products right now. One is the dry clean, that's our waterless solution to the customer. And the other one is a sanitized spray, a DIY product. So uh, where a person can just sanitize their own vehicle or any surface with the sanitized spray, it's just a spray and a wipe, that's it. As my final question, is there anything that you would like to say or as an entrepreneur, is there anything that you would like to say to our audience? Well, taking a risk and doing something 
is the best thing you can do because if you take a risk and you do something and fail, at least you have tried doing that. And when we started this business, we didn't know if it's going to work in Sri Lanka because we were the first. And we took a shot at it. And there, here we go. So we <laughs> actually found uh, our customers uh, liking the product. You started this business off in a very risky period. Is it advisable for anyone to start businesses at this point? You have to be smart because we basically wanted to we basically wanted to start the car wash and we dropped the idea. The whole idea was just dropped because of the pandemic. We thought, okay, maybe we can't start the car wash. And then we came, to, you know, because of this this period, pandemic period, we thought the doorstep service was the best thing. All right. Thank you, Tishan. Unfortunately, this is all the time we have on the show. And thank you very much again for allocating your time here with us on it's the my show. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, that was it on today's program on Business Best. We'll be back again next week, 7 p.m. on Friday. Don't go anywhere because the blueprint will be up next where you can get some useful business tips and tools. I'm Suzanne Shanali and have a good night.